All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're vlogging. Darker with decor. I was talking and she ignored me. We're at Floor and Decor and we are trying to pick backsplash for the kitchen and then flooring for the laundry room. I think I'm gonna go with like a basic white. What about a glass? What? There's a glass. Oh, I don't glass. think. I, I want, it would be too plain. They had it over there. But I'm not 100% sure, so. Yeah. We draw the So I like like the whites, whites and grays. Like I like this one, but I feel like you need to do gold. So you look at it here. Uh huh. Looks like it's got more grayish blue, right? Look at it here. It looks more white. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's the grout in the end that changes it. And then I really like this. I'm thinking I want it like herringbone, but I don't like these pieces. But if I could find a big white herringbone, I'd do that. Yeah. Yeah, those were little. I think it's all a matter of what box you get. What do you mean? Uh oh. Box has got to be good. Look at that one. Looks like it's got a rust stain. All right, we're done at Floor and Decor. I got nothing. Yeah, you got two pieces of flooring. Yeah. <clears throat> I got two samples of flooring, which I'll put up to the cabinets and show you guys when we get home. I'll show you the kitchen when we get home. Really? Uh, You're going to show them the kitchen? Why wouldn't I? I don't know. And then um, I have flooring ideas in my laundry room that and that. I asked Mark's mom, and he said, she said this one would look best with the brown cabinets and then the wood floors. So, I would like to do, if you can see the flooring there, it's like real brick, but, oh my gosh. It's like real brick, but faux brick. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but I'd like to do like a, brownish gray not gray brownish tan tanish. white huh tanish yeah um what brick kind of grout would you do white in the laundry room so it's either gonna be a tile in the herringbone shape like this or brick that's kind of what I'm going for Brick probably look better. No, it wouldn't be herringbone. You can do it, herringbone, with the brick. Everything else is so plain. Yeah, true. True, true. So I'm gonna text the countertop guy and see if he can give bring us when he comes to measure this coming week, if he can bring us a sample of the countertop so I can use that to pick out backsplash because it's too hard to pick out backsplash without the what? without it yeah without the countertop so we are at chick-fil-a i text ellie she's at gabby's they went to hollow screams last night i text ellie and i said we're going to wing stop she's like bro what and then called me immediately so we didn't go to wing stop no we're at chick-fil-a but she her and gabby have been asking to go to um Wing stop for days. So I said, well, we can go tomorrow. And she said, well, Gabby's not allowed to do anything. She has church. We're going to go into Chick-fil-A and eat lunch. And then I don't know what else. Should have brought those shoes to back. I didn't know where we'd be by the mall. I don't know what else. We'll have to head home anyways because of the dogs. They eat in three hours. Okay, we are home and I'm going to show you the kitchen. I literally just grabbed a camera with no SD card and filmed in it. So... <laughs> Here is the kitchen so far. Those are obviously uppers. Um, refrigerator goes there. Microwave and oven goes there. Cooktop will go there. And then here's your cabinets. 
dishwasher. And yeah, so this one's too small, so he's getting a bigger one. This one's too small, he's got to get a bigger one. And these are the two floorboards that we brought home. Um, I like the longer one. The color. I think it needs to be a tad darker. Just a tad darker. To match, like, the woods. Island's not here yet, because it'll just be in the way. But we get appliances on Tuesday, so I will have a fridge and an oven and a microwave. So here's the drawers. This is a spice rack. That's a little too tight. <laughs> and then this is like a utensil thing goes in this. And then there's a insert that goes into this that will come it like pulls out i don't know how to explain it so he said he'll bring the insert for these and then this is your trash can but yeah that's that uh these will all go up and i don't know what he's doing with the space here not sure maybe putting a wider oh well you ain't gonna see it never mind that's right because the board there's a board it's this tall board like this he took it back with him because it had a scratch so it goes up and then you won't see it the update and then these are the new tiles you can't i mean you can tell on camera for sure in person you can't but your refrigerator is going to be on it anyways and then obviously you're going to put new floor down someday so same thing with the dishwasher those are the new tiles uh, right there you can't t tell so yep there is your kitchen update for now all right it's a different day <clears throat> but i wanted to continue giving you guys updates because i said i would the girls are gone for the weekend so this will be our only weekend video um but i'm going to give you an update on mark's marbles and the shelves and all that stuff so here we go so here is how he has displayed all of his marbles so far and i know a lot of you don't understand the marbles or if you don't let me explain his grandfather op had a antique shop which is Mark's mom's father. And he was very into antique marbles. Not the new ones, the old ones. Popeyes. Flames. See? Acro. Ooh, ox bloods. Those are very, very important ox bloods. <laughs> Black lines. They all have names. They have names. Some of them are signed. But yeah, so each marble has, they have different names. And yeah, these are some of the antiques that Mark got from his shop when he passed away. These are more marbles. The big balls are paperweights, or some of them are marbles. I can't show you what's up there. This glass stuff is the same stuff marbles are made out of. He also has arrowhead, soapstone, wooden marbles, paperweights. These jars have to be filled. There's more arrowheads. Um, is the paperweight Emma got him from Switzerland. He got all of his pocket watches out and his pocket knives. There's more pocket watches. This is his grandfather's ring. And these are very good, important marbles. And we could do it, oh babies. 
glass dice. And then here are more marbles. These were her, like he had some, and then she had some. And she's been sending um, the marbles. So he's been displaying them and putting them up and he's not gonna do anything with them. He's basically saving them for the kids. The kids then can either keep them or you know, sell them, whatever, when we are no longer here. Also wanted to give an update. We put the door handles on and then the lighting on for the top shelf. The curtains are hung, so that is done. I think it looks great. And then I had to return the little charger pads and get different ones because the ones we had quit working in two days so we'll see if these keep working and then the other update is we did have to get a box spring because the mattress was too saggy and it was hurting our backs another update for you guys and the next update is the dock and i will take you to show you the dock here in a minute what up guys well as you can tell today it has cooled off finally finally cooled off I got a sweatshirt on love to wear them don't do it very often but today I am I actually think tomorrow is supposed to be like a low of 50 some in the morning something like that anyways out here letting Fester and Chester out they love to hunt that's all they do he sniffs tries to find something to eat and he tries to find the lizards. Anyways, I'm just gonna show you where we stand with the dock. We got two visitors. They love to crap on the deck. I love that. But anyway, whoa. Anyways, they're not done, but they're getting there. They do have the new decking down, the new supports in. It's looking good, it's a lot bigger. I can't say much for the uh, jet ski that's sitting on the rocks. I don't like that at all. At all. Hopefully when they come today they can get it off there. But the water is really low. That's why the dock looks so high. Which is funny because the other day it was... Actually theirs was underwater. But, you know, here before long that's what this pole is. The gray one right there. Uh, that's the electrical and water supply so we'll run it down the side underneath underneath and out here so you got a water spigot out here which is pretty cool they use this barge is how they do it um, it's not rocket science it's actually pretty easy see this pole here All right got the line but anyways it runs off that pump and what they do is they put these poles on the bottom then they put that pole right next to it and they blow water down in there which separates I know you've all been in the water and you shake your hand and it you know moves it so that's how they drill holes except we've got now you can't see it this big pole here which is going to be for the boat ramp uh, boat lift which goes in over here well I guess there's a bunch of rocks down there and these guys can't get it down in the ground so they'll have to come back out and drill to get through it and somebody else is gonna have to do that I really don't like this jet ski sitting on these rocks that's not even cool not cool yeah Hopefully when they come today they can use this crane and pick it up and move it because something needs to be done. It hasn't been this low. For the last week it's been pretty high, but it is low today. I mean low, low. That's weird. But as you know, time, they change. High tide, low tide, never stays the same. It always changes. I've not quite figured it out. One day it'll be two o'clock, next day it'll be four o'clock. Anyways, I think it's coming along. We will put caps on the top of these, um, like domes, keep the birds off of them. Try to cut back on the bird poo, 
but I doubt it because they are everywhere. I think it's coming along. It's looking good. Hopefully we find out today when they'll be back out here to finish. Because I'm tired of seeing this barge out here and I'm sure the neighbors are too because they gotta drive around it. Need to get that trimmed down. It's gotten out of control. But hey, here before long, we'll be having fire sitting out here at night. That is what it's about. Haven't been able to do it yet because who wants a fire when it's flipping 100 degrees out? You know, that makes it a little rough. Just thought I'd show you that. I know it wasn't very exciting or anything, but that's where we stand with it. I'm ready for it to be done. We've been waiting for it for almost a year and it's almost all the way done. All right guys, that is it for the video. Hopefully you got all the updates you guys have been wanting. I know you guys want to see vlogs. We will vlog and do um, some of the other videos that the girls want to do in between everything. But yeah, um, that is it for our weekend and we will see you guys back next week. Uh, good morning to you all and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. We run to the end and we run without shame.